So day 131, back out on trail. Uh, slept really good at that little stealth site last night. No issues at all. Nice spot, ground was nice and soft, right next to a water source and all that. So that was all good. So we got four miles to get to Pinkham Notch Visitor Center, where Trish is gonna pick me up and take me home for a couple of days. So <laughs> that will be good. Uh, be nice to see everybody uh, also get home, uh, get rested up, uh, get my gear cleaned up a little bit, maybe make a couple little gear changes and then come back out and finish finish this trail up. So that will be good. Uh, so yeah, we got a nice little mellow walk uh, into Pinkham Notch this morning, uh, relatively flat and so forth. So day 134, well shit, <laughs> back here at the trailhead at Pinkham Notch Visitor Center where I left off on Friday, today's Monday, went home for a couple days of course. Uh, weather wasn't looking too bad, it was kind of cloudy and stuff until we got about 10 miles away then the friggin' skies opened up a little bit. But uh, Yeah, I guess I'm going to hang out here at the Visitor Center for an hour or so, see if it lets up, but after that I'm going to just continue on I guess I really didn't want to get soaked first thing but it is what it is well I said to hell with it and moved on <laughs> everything that was nice and dry from my couple days off is now soaked so <laughs> just bit the bullet trails like welcome back asshole take this <laughs> Jesus. oh well hey things will dry out eventually I just hope uh, my only concern is those rocks getting up over the wildcats but I don't know trouble is if I wait around they're still gonna be wet so hell with it but anyways we're moving forward in the rain let's see what happens Yeah, I had a really good time at home. Uh, got to visit everybody. Uh, went out to breakfast with my parents. Uh, had a couple barbecues. Enjoyed a bunch of beer. My son brewed me five gallons of oatmeal stout. I didn't drink all five gallons this weekend, but I put a little bit of a hurting on it, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I got stuff cleaned up and dried out and all that. And I'll put the dried out thing mounted to much in the end. But anyways... Made a couple little minor gear swaps. Nothing, nothing major, so. But anyways, yeah, glad I did it. I was ready for a little bit of a break. Uh, as mentioned back a few days ago, I kind of tweaked my right knee a little bit. Uh, not enough to stop me or anything, but you know, just enough to annoy. So I got, gave that a rest. Seems to be feeling better, so that's all good. Hey, I came to the first uphill here. I think we're going to be going uphill for a while. I haven't really studied the maps a whole heck of a lot, but I know that uh, Carter Notch Hut is, well, was, just under six miles from the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. That will be our first goal. Once we get there, we'll kind of reevaluate, see if we want to keep moving on or try to find something reasonably close to that. So, anyways, oh, sun's peeking out a little bit up there, so... Hey, maybe it'll, maybe it'll turn out to be a decent afternoon. Who knows? Ah, shit. Right straight uphill, of course. As was expected. Didn't expect anything different. But, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, rocks are just slick. That's the problem. Got to be careful. Probably shouldn't be holding this video camera in one hand. Uh, I guess I better put it up. Yeah, this is some pretty steep, slick terrain, but luckily so far there's been quite a few things to hold on to. So this came up over one here that was a little sketchy, but we made it. Yeah, this one back here. 
I'm not gonna get too close, I'm not gonna push my luck, but I mean, it doesn't look straight up, but it is. <laughs> Anyways, starting to get a few views through the clouds. Well, we got some of the wooden steps bolted into the rock here again. Definitely want to be careful on these things. <laughs> Jesus. They can get really slick when they're wet, so we'll be careful going up them. It's just like that uh, other rock, uh, where was it, Virginia or someplace? The guillotine, where the big boulder was just hanging on by a thread, basically. <laughs> kind of cool. I bet this is an awesome view some days. Still kind of neat though with the trees and the fog. Made it to Wildcat Mountain D, I think this is. Is the ski lift. Moving forward, she's starting to rain a little bit again, so I'm not going to hang around here too long. Well, we made it to the summit of Wildcat Mountain. Uh, there was a little spur trail that led to a ledge, uh, which you could take, and apparently this is typically a view, but yeah, it was just going to be white out, so I didn't bother going down, but we did make it to the summit. Uh, we're headed down now. Uh, we'll be going towards the Carter Notch Hut, so a uh, bit of a downhill. Hopefully it's not too slick, but we'll take our time. Pretty little pond out there, bunch of lily pads on it, fog in the background, very nice. Okay, so I'm taking the point one side trail down to this Carter Notch hut. I don't know if I'll stay here tonight or not, I'll, I'll see. That's a beautiful little pond. Check that out. Very nice. Yeah, well, here's the hut. We made it. Let's go check it out. See what it looks like. All right, I'm moving on. Uh, I would have, or I may have stayed there because the price wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, that's apparently a less expensive hut than the others. Uh, but the issue is, they didn't have enough food to serve walk-ins dinner, so, and they wouldn't take a <laughs> deduct on the price, even though you wouldn't get dinner. I don't quite get that. Anyways, you, you have to pay full price just for a bunk. No food, so yeah, screw that. So anyways, I'm moving forward. It's only four o'clock, so I got plenty of daylight to find some place to set up camp. Uh, hopefully, the rain holds off. That's the big thing. Not that I haven't set up in the rain before, but just a little bit nicer if you don't have to. So, whew, going straight uphill now. <laughs> One good thing is, uh, be less miles we have to do tomorrow to get into Gorm. So, hey, it's meant to be. Yeah, I'm making the climb up the Carter Dome now. She's straight uphill, of course. <laughs> About a mile's worth. Well, a mile from here. We've already done some. I think it's like a mile and a half total uphill. Uh, shit. That, that's okay. Get past this and hopefully we can find something fairly reasonable to camp at. So we shall see. Whew. Yeah, I made it to the summit of Carter Dome. Uh, Mount Mar Mariah is next. Uh, used to be a fire tower up here, it looks like. 
Anyways, we're moving forward. I'm going to start keeping a pretty good eye out for stout sites. There's actually probably some up here. There's old paths that go through the woods here, but... Uh, I kind of need to get to a water source. I probably got enough to get through the night, but I wouldn't mind having a little bit more. I know there's one like a mile and a half ahead or something like that. Currently headed towards Mount Moriah. Uh, we could have taken a blue blaze trail and probably that would have been the bright thing to do since we're not going to get any views up here anyways. <laughs> but, but I decided to stick to the main trail here. And hey, you never know. Get up there, might be something cool happening. I highly doubt it, but <laughs> don't know unless we go look, I guess. So, anyways, moving forward. Trail's kind of pretty here at the moment. Very, very wet, but still <laughs> pretty. A little foggy and stuff. Yeah, pretty nice stout spot right there, but. Boy, I kind of need water. Uh, might be kicking myself for passing that up because I'm sure I can make it through the evening, no problem. But uh, might be a little breezy up here too. Wow, there are tons of spots here. Ah, oh, shit! I hate to pass these up. These are nice. Uh, crap! 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 I'm going to check my water situation and go, go from there, I guess. Yeah, I don't have enough water, so i got to continue on to that water source. I don't know what I was thinking when I left that hut was so little water. I guess I wasn't. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. That, I have a feeling that site's going to get... Uh, gross. Mud. Uh, going to get damn cold tonight, so we'll get to a lower elevation next to that water source and... It will probably be better anyways. Well, we made it to the summit of Mount Moriah, but yeah, it's windy and chilly and uh, no views. So I guess we might as well continue on here. Ooh, a little brisk up here. Uh, so we're gonna get down off this summit and go find some water, I guess. There, eight and a half miles. I'm happy with that. Found a nice little stout spot here, so got some water, so good to go. Uh, yeah, good day. Well, rain, <laughs> but good, good a day as it could could have been in the rain, I guess. So we got up over the Wildcats and Carter Dome and um, Mount Moriah. So hey, we had a big day, really, uh, as for, especially for as slippery as it was. So. Anyways, that leaves just under 13 miles to get to Gorham. Uh, so, uh, not sure exactly what I'm going to do there tomorrow. I'll see what time I get there. I, I do have to pick up that package and uh, resupply package and, you know, get, get that all packed away and stuff. But we'll, we'll figure that out when tomorrow comes. Anyways, thanks once again, guys, for watching, following along, commenting. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.